with the conclusion of episode 11 and episode 12 on the horizon, it has me wondering what will happen after the My Little Pony hiatus. What will the rest of season 6 bring us? For first, a spoiler-free speculation about the next episode. If this is truly the perfect episode to have a mid-season hiatus, and not just some random episode that they chose to split the series down the middle, then it should have a hiatus-worthy cliffhanger at the end. If it doesn't, I'll be mildly disappointed, but whether it does or doesn't, doesn't make that much difference. I don't have any hype or any questions or worries about this upcoming episode. It seems like a pretty straightforward slice of life adventure, but if they do want to make it hiatus worthy, they would have some kind of cliffhanger in this. Perhaps a major villain reveal, or a brand new location, or the start of a new story arc that will take us from the comfort of Ponyville into exploring Equestria. Or perhaps maybe I'll have some interesting characters. I also can't say for sure whether this next episode coming up will have turning characters and returning locations or new characters and new locations. Both would be interesting to me for different reasons and in the long run it doesn't matter to me which they choose as long as they tell a good story. Now moving on to the rest of the season. There's a few things that I'd like to see. The first of which is to continue the Rainbow Dash Wonderbolt art and show what does Rainbow Dash do now that she's a Wonderbolt. What kind of conflicts can Rainbow Dash and the Wonderbolts and the rest of the ponies have together? Will they go off on missions, do shows in different locations, have some kind of military-based story, perhaps have Rainbow get promoted in rank or take on some rookies and do some teaching, or maybe have a conflict between members of the Wonderbolts that Rainbow Dash has to help mediate, or maybe show the Wonderbolts doing what they are supposed to do, saving Equestria from danger and performing shows. Next, I'd like to see an episode that goes back to Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon. Now that they've been reformed, it'd be interesting to see where they go with this particular character. And do another CMC episode, at least one more, probably a couple more, and show the CMC continuing to help ponies find their cutie marts. The fourth thing I'd like to see is a Starlight Glimmer and Distort episode. Team up the major reformed villains together and have them have some kind of conversation. At the same time, continue Distort's relationship with Fluttershy, Celestia, and the other characters. I've returned to one of the locations that we saw in Season 5, like possibly Griffinstone, or the Our Town Village, or one of the other places. Don't go to Manhattan again and again and again because that's been worn out. If you do go back to Manhattan, you have to include Babseed in the next trip. Otherwise, that character feels like she's being pushed to the side. Six, return visit with Moon Dancer, Minuet, and her other friends. Or possibly another episode with background ponies like Lyra and Bonbon, bon, or Dot and Derpy, or Vinyl and Octavia, or some other combination that 
helps it spend on the whole background pony thing. They've been getting some good mileage out of vinyl for the past few episodes, and it'd be nice to see them continue that trend. Seven, go to a brand new location. Go someplace that we've talked about but have never shown, preferably Los Pegasus or Philadelphia. I'm getting tired of Manhattan and Appaloosa and Cantalot being used again and again. It's time to go someplace a little different. 8. Revisit Hearts and Hooves Day. We've already done Nightmare Night twice and three times for Heartswarming Eve. It's about time we revisited Hearts and Hooves Day and maybe did a series of multiple short stories for different characters in different relationships. 9. Go back to Princess Flurryheart. Do some kind of Spite and Twilight babysit Princess Flurryheart episode, or maybe one of the other main sets that's involved in the babysitting. You've introduced the character at the beginning of the season. Let's not wait until the finale two part or before we bring her back one more time. Let's bring her back in the middle of the season to show that we haven't forgotten about her and bring some burst along for the ride so we remember that he's still around. And since it's highly unlikely that the series and the movies will do any crossovers at any time soon. And shooting for Star Swirl the Bearded is probably also a long shot for my tenth hope for the rest of season six. I'm gonna go with something a little more plausible. Although Sunset Shimmer and Sirens and Star Swirl and all that other stuff is still on the docket to check off. The final tenth highly plausible thing that I'm thinking about is one more episode with Princess Ember. Now that you've introduced the character, it's time to use her, have her tall spike to some sort of meeting and need his assistance on some kind of dragon related thing or have the ponies encounter some kind of trouble that they need Princess Ember to help them with. Or if not this idea, perhaps a visit to Yak Yakistan or Griffinstone or some place else that has the other species that the ponies have befriended and do some kind of team up between the ponies and the character who's stronger but not accustomed to friendship. Like physically stronger but not as particularly friend welcoming as ponies are and do sort of a clashing of ideologies while the strong one is also taught upon to fight some kind of strong enemy but the pony perspective is also needed to resolve the issue with friendship and tolerance and so forth. Dive more into that other culture. And speaking of other cultures, it would also be interesting to do something Zatora or Zebra related. But I see Zebras the same way I see Star Swirl, the Bearded and Sunset Shimmer and sirens and sea ponies and all these other things. It's something we've wanted for a long time and I'm not sure if we'll ever get it any time before the airing of the My Little Pony movie at least. A couple more plot ideas in addition. It would be nice to see another Darren Do episode. Maybe with an appearance from the Lynch Pony in this one since both Lind and Darren Dew are known for treasure hunting. Anyhow, that's all my thoughts for this topic. Let me know what you want to see 
for the rest of season six. Thank you for watching and good night.